Hey you guys, I'm back. It's Kristen with another chance resale. I am back and I am back with another video. We're gonna do some jewelry today, but first I'm going to tell you that if you would like to see some photos from my vacation, um, I posted a few of them on my Facebook group, Another Chance Resale. So if you um, either have Facebook or maybe you don't and wanna just join uh, my group, that is no problem. So um, on my Facebook group, we have a lot of questions that are asked and answered. We can buy and sell items. I do daily, well, I should say during the week, Monday to Friday, daily, um, you know, motivational quotes. And we kind of just hang out, have fun. So if you would like to join, please do so. It's free and you'll get to see a few little snippets from my vacation. Um, we did find a few thrift stores, um, which I did get a few purses and pieces of jewelry. So um, that is all posted on the Facebook group as well. I also got a tattoo. So this is, this will be number eight and it does have the, um, you know, the protectant cream on it right now. So it's going to look a little shiny, but it is going to be the start. Well, not going to be, it is the start of my sleeve. I plan to get more tattoos um, to, you know, go up my arm, but here is the little sneak peek. Woo! So you guys know I love my bees, so I decided to get one as a start for my, my sleeve. I'm going to be adding to that and have it go up my arm. Um, still kind of working on the idea on what else I'm going to do, but it's going to also involve uh, the flowers that were a part of my wedding bouquet. But anyway, um, so that's that and you know, please be nice if you don't agree with it Don't you no need to be mean in the comments. This is a positive place and a happy place even for comments. So uh, You know, let's all let's all be positive. Okay, so You can check out photos and videos from my vacation on my Facebook uh, my group another chance resale Okay, so now what we're gonna do before we get into the Goodwill Blue Box, I have some leftover jewelry from last week that I would like to discount for you guys. Um, so let's just move this over for a second. And I don't really remember what the prices were, but we're gonna just do like a, you know, like a one price basically for all those rings and stuff. But first up we had the, oh, I don't have my other light on. Hold on okay, one there second. we go. I knew it looked a little dark, okay. So we had the Made in France hair clip. So we'll just do five bucks on that. Alrighty. Then we had the two uh, tennis bracelets. So this one is sterling. I don't remember if I had said that or not, but um, it is marked sterling and CZ on the back right up there, so let me see. All right, and so this one has the two safety clasps as well, and it is a seven inch bracelet, and I will do, see, I don't remember what I was asking, but let's do $10 on it, guys, okay, $10. And this one is not sterling, and it has glass, rhinestones uh it is marked b-r-s-u-n and this one measures seven and a half inches and we will do this one for eight dollars all right excellent condition on both this was the ring that i had bought for myself and i didn't like it on me uh, how it looked it is a size nine it's brand new it's 18 karat gold plated it has the Roman numerals on the side, kind of like a stud in the center. Um, so I was asking 15 because that's what I paid, but I will ask 12. And, you know, we'll lose a little bit of money on that, but that's okay. Okay, then we had, this one was the Verme. This was, uh, or this is Sterling with 
a 14 karat gold overlay and blue sapphires. This is a ring that you can, you know, uh, it'll hug like your engagement ring like that. And this was a size seven, let's do seven, I would say seven and a quarter. I don't remember what I was asking, but let's do something crazy and do $15. $15 on the blue sapphire and vermeil. Now all these were not sterling and they were just like a glass stone. So let's go through all of these and these are all going to be $5. Okay, so if you're interested in anything you see, I know I forgot to say all this in the beginning, see vacation brain still. Um, if you would like anything, in the video, email me another chance resale one at gmail.com. I do not take um, requests in the comment section. Please email me and I will keep a sold list in the comment section. So please refer to that before you email me. Uh, refresh the video when you, after you finish watching it. So go out of the video, come back in, look down in the comment section for the most up to date list and. Um, yeah, so give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase so I know what to invoice you for. And um, we can hold your items for the week. You can let me know if you don't want me to hold and I'll add shipping and ship it out. Okay, so um, all my information is always down in the description box also. So if you ever have any questions, you can go right down there and it'll have all the information. All right, let's start with this one because I think this is the biggest. This is a blue... These, remember, these are not sterling silver. This is a nine and a half, five dollars. Here's another blue. This one is a six, not sterling, five dollars. These are all in very good condition. This one is kind of like a uh, light brown, size six, five dollars. This one is a pink heart. Let's make sure we're focused. And it's a size six and a quarter, five dollars. Here is another pink. Six, five dollars. Remember, not sterling. Here is a really bright yellow. Not sterling, size six, five dollars. Here is a pink, size six and a quarter, five dollars. Here is like a mystic topaz color, but it is just glass. Not sterling, size six, five dollars. And last but not least, we have the clear glass, not sterling, size six, $5. Okay, so that is that. Now we can go into the um, Goodwill Blue Box. I have been buying these more often now because they have been better. Um, Granted, I did get the last two from New Jersey. This one is from Dayton, Ohio. I haven't gotten one from Ohio in a very long time, so I really have no idea what to expect from them. Um, but th this is a repurposed jewelry mystery box, which means that it's not going to be all wearable, resellable jewelry. So please keep that in mind when ordering these boxes, these mystery boxes, whether it's on Shop Goodwill, Thread Up, America's Thrift Supply, nothing is guaranteed to be, you know, perfect condition. Okay, here's first looks. Um, this kind of looks interesting. Uh, that kind of looks nice, maybe, that maybe. This looks kind of pretty. Oh, it's acrylic. We have something right here that's really pretty. Um, so, okay, not too bad for first looks. Remember, again, if you would like to purchase anything, email me another chance resale one at gmail.com. All my information's down in the description box. If you would have any questions, so let's move 
this box on over, grab some items out of it. All right, I see a big knot already, so we're gonna have to try to work around that. All right, let's bring you guys in a little bit. And remember in the email to give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase so I can make sure to invoice you correctly. And let's see what we got. So let's go over this first since I already kind of looked at that. Um, it is all just acrylic, stretchy. So we will do that for $2. We have this earring, which kind of looks all worn and stuff. So we're gonna pass on that one. Let me see if I can get a craft lot bag. Hang on a second, guys. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, all right, we'll use this. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, this is a bracelet. Okay. And it does feel like real leather. Let's see. What does that say? E B. E R L I or no, sorry, L E. I mean, it seems like it's in really good shape. Let's check out good old eBay and see if anything comes up with E B E R L E bracelet. Okay, so we have the watches here. But that's really all I see coming up. But the watches are, you know, not really in, not really a low price. Let's see if we can just do the brand name and see what comes up. Okay, no. So, all right, so that's, it doesn't really look like it'd be, you know, chintzy or anything. It does feel like it's real fur. I'm not sure, maybe rabbit fur or something, but it does have two um, measurements. Now, where's, where's my measury? Here it is. Okay, so it can be either a six and a quarter or seven inches and I think that's pretty cool so we will do this for ten dollars I like that all right so this looks like copper I don't see any markings on the inside it's an eight and a quarter inch circumference so we'll do that for four dollars let's get this big guy up out of here Okay, so this is a clamper. It doesn't seem to be in bad condition. It might just need a nice wipe down. Uh, no maker marks. It is about a six and a half. And we'll do that for four dollars. What's this torque thing? So this looks like brass. That's, that's gonna be a really small neck size. Um, Cause I, this doesn't even bend very much and this is very small, so let's see. It's only two and a quarter inches. So I'm not really sure who this is fitting, <laughs> but I'll do that for $5. If anybody wanted to like upscale, upcycle it or something. This is very worn, so we're going to put that into crafting for a dollar. Okay. This says, be kind. It is a stretchy. I think these are just wood beads. We'll do that for a dollar. Here's a little clip on earring. Ooh, it says made in England. Nice. It does have a little chip and a little chip there, but let's just see if we have the mate. What is this? Where are you? It is a busted up earring. 
So that'll go into craft. We'll see if we have the mate and then, you know, I would sell both for a dollar. Can easily put a post back on that if we have the mate. This will just be a dollar as well. It's nothing too crazy. These are just little lightweight metal bangles. I'll do them both for a dollar. We have this necklace. Oh, this is Erica Lines. It actually seems like it's in really nice condition. Okay. All right. I see you, Erica Lines. Let's see what your drop measurement is. Eight and a half inches, but you also have the extender. So let's do this necklace for, let's do $5. Oh, well that's broken. So that'll be in crafting. Here's an earring. Guess we can hold on to that. Doesn't seem like it's in bad shape. This, I think I saw a tag. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't say anything though. So it's silver tone and it's got these different layers with all these acrylic beads. And some have these little like faux druzy. Seems like it's in good condition. It does have an extender. Without it, the first layer is eight inches, then nine inches, then 10 inches on the drop. And we'll do that for $5 as well. All right, so this is silver tone, no maker mark. However, I do think these are real stones. So let me turn on Impressi. So maybe this is sterling. Let's look closer. You want to always look at the clasp. I do not see any markings. Let's do a little. Okay, so it is magnetic, so it's not going to be sterling silver. However, these stones might be smoky quartz and rose quartz. So here is Pressy the Presidium. Oh yeah. Okay, so I do think that is quartz. Yeah. Woohoo, okay, so we have a quartz necklace, smoky quartz and rose quartz on um, silver tone. And let's get a measurement. Even though there's no uh, extender, this necklace can be put, the clasp can be put anywhere since it's a nice big open link. It's an 11 inch drop and I'll do this for $10. All right, I'm gonna turn off the gem tester because we don't want it to overheat. This is really pretty. Look at this shell earring. We'll hold on to that. That's a pretty earring. We'll hold that one. Mm, I'm gonna pass on that. It's not really in good shape. Same with that. It's got green on it. This bracelet will just be a dollar. It does say something on the back of this earrings. Let's see. What does that say? I don't know. It could say maybe F925. Let's hold on to it and see if we can get the meat. This is a bracelet. Let me get the... little clasp here. Okay. So 
Don't see any maker marks. This is very pretty. It's got the silver tone and gold tone. No sterling marks either. It's an eight inch length. So I'll do that for five. And then this one is what I saw in the little sneaky peeky. Oh, the magnet came off, so it's busted. But, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's in bad condition. So I can always fix that. And it is a, if I can get it on the mandrel here. I would say it's a six and a half inch. I will fix the magnet and we'll do $5 on it. All right, let's grab some more. All right, so we have a very big fabric knot right here. So I might, I'm probably gonna have to cut some of this because I'm definitely not gonna resell this fabric knot. So let's, um, let's just, yeah. Let's just cut and oh, let's not cut the metal here. That way we can save the rest of this. All right, I think we're almost done. It's like trying to get gum out of somebody's hair. <laughs> All right, and then I'll look through this to make sure we're not missing anything. Wow, okay. All right. So I do see this bracelet that we're going to save. I see this earring that we just saved. Okay, we got this earring. Those are, oh, those are fine. Oh, we got this. This looks nice. Look at this. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, we got something falling out. Oh, we got another little earring. Let me see, I feel something else. A little clip on, let's save that. All right, I think that's it. All right, so that will go into crafting. Oh wait, I think I see another Earring, hold on. It does not have a hook though. Okay. Let's look at this because this was really pretty that we pulled out of there. I can't read that. Xanadu. It's very pretty. I love the purple and clear. Okay, it's very, very, very worn on the back. So I might have to pass on this. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't really feel comfortable selling that as wearable, so that will be a dollar in crafting. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's keep going. Let's try to get some of this bigger stuff out of here. I could already start to tell that the jewelry is making my nose run. All this dirty, dirty jewelry. All right, what's happening here? I really don't want this white necklace either because it doesn't really look like it's in the best condition. All right, so let me pause you guys 
and oh wait, unless we get it right away here. Okay, we got it. So this is also going into crafting for a dollar. All right. Here we are. We have a little rose gold tone knot bangle. Eight, eight inch circumference, $2. Pretty good condition. Here's a little earring. Guess we can hang on to that. Library. Okay, just says patent on the back there. I know you guys tell me that sometimes these can be gold, but you can just, I mean, I can just look at it and tell you that it's not. So um, this is, and then it says 1959. Even though it is not magnetic, it is not gold. So I will do that for $2. This we can hang on to, might be like a carnelian. Hang on to that one. We have this um, necklace. I don't see any maker marks. It's got a little bit of wear. Um, I'm tr I feel like this is not supposed to be like that. Like there's supposed to be another part of the chain. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna do a dollar on that. Here's another copper bracelet. Eight and a quarter. I don't really think, I don't really know if this is real copper, so don't come at me, but um, I'll do that for $2. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. That says Giovanni. Let me close this. Beautiful. There is a little speck of the enamel missing right there. A teeny little bit on the edge. But overall, I think it's in really great condition. It's beautiful. And I will do that for $6. Let's look at what this cross was. Um, come on. There we go. Oh no, it's broken. What does that say? I'll try to do this with my other hand. 1 20th, 12 carat. All right, well, it's just the chain that's broken. You still have the cross. Cross has not marked anything. I do see wear along the bottom. This is probably a nephrite or jade. It is beautiful. I will do that for $5. All right, so we have this little guy, a little clip-on pearl we'll hold on to. This looks really pretty. It is not marked. This is stuck on here. Like, how does that even happen? All right, well, we'll get that out another time. Oh, we're missing a stone. Poop. Another one. So we're missing two stones on this one. So this is crafting for $1. Unfortunately, it is not considered wearable in my eyes. It is missing two stones, two or three. All right, so let's keep going. Here is another little earring. We'll hold on to that. It's in good shape. I mean, this cloth, this fabric stuff is just on everything. So this is another pretty earring. Is it broken? It broke. Sure did. So that'll be craft. Here's an earring.
There's an earring stuck in here. <laughs> That'll be craft though. Let's do do. Now, why is this on here? It's two on here. That's kind of strange. I don't think that's supposed to be on there. Very weird. Adult jewels. Well, it's going to stay on there. So you get both. <laughs> The drop is nine inches, five bucks. That's not in good condition, so let's pull some things out that are gonna be crafting. Like this. Okay. Here is a clamper bracelet. It is very worn on the inside. Worn right there as well, so one dollar in craft. This looks pretty. I don't see a maker mark. It's got that like matte gold tone, acrylic black beads. There is wear a little bit on the things that hold on to hold the beads onto the necklace. It is an eight and a half inch drop and we'll just do that for four dollars. I mean so far it's not really the greatest. This I'm going to sell as one lump sum for two dollars. Mystery jumble. Get some of this string out of here. Okay, we have this. This is a stretchy, but it's really not stretching very well. Um, I'll just do $2 on that. We have this, which is very pretty, silver tone with a blue acrylic cabochon. It has a double silver tone chain with an extender. It's a nine inch drop without the extender. It's in very good condition. We'll do that for $5. We'll hold on to that for the mate and that one. And we'll grab some more. Jeez. Oh, hold on, let me try to get some of this untangled. didn't work okay got it Whew. okay what you believe you can achieve oh yeah so this is very worn it's Mary Kay this will be a dollar we have a big old hoop and save that for the mate Broken snowman necklace or bracelet dollar. Dollar. These are gray acrylic. Two dollars. This is in good condition, a little bangle. Silver tone, eight inch circumference, $2. These will be a dollar each. I guess we'll hang on to that. It's an earring. All right, so let me unclasp this and try to detangle it from this pretty wooden necklace. Oh my gosh. A 
La 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 la. If you guys know me by now, I do not like tangled jewelry. It stresses me out. <laughs> All right, almost done. Why isn't this last piece coming loose? There we go, okay. This, I believe, said Avon. Yes, so this is an Avon chain. It is in very good condition, it is gold tone. And the total length on it is 26 inches. So 26 inch total length on the Avon gold tone chain, $5. Then we had this. Okay, so let me see if I can lay this out. I mean, how pretty is this? This is wood. You have the little clasp. Probably gonna need to kind of make that a little bit better somehow but you can probably just put it over your head. Is one broken? Yeah, I think one's broken off of here. So that'll just, we'll do $2 on this if somebody wants to repurpose that. Let's grab more. I might have to start pausing the video to untangle, but we'll see. All right, so this looks like a little ring May God light your days. It looks very small. Yeah, it's like a two and it's like a two. <laughs> That's very weird. All right, 50 cents. There you go. Here is a gold tone bangle, a dollar. Let's get this big old thing out of here. Yeah, like this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, so we got this out of here. This is, I don't know why that's <laughs> showing. Could these be sterling? They're heavy. Hmm, let's do a quick test. No, okay, that's okay. It doesn't hurt to try. So then this will just be a dollar in crafting. Oops. All right, let's see what we can pull out of here. We have a clip-on. It's kind of cool. We have this bracelet. It's, I mean, it's in okay condition. It's got the little hope, faith, and cure for breast cancer. Let's get the length. It's an eight inch but I'm sure you can clasp the clasp on any of these links. So we'll do that for five. Um, that's a cool earring, we'll hold on to that. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so let me um, untangle this and I'll be hey okay. Guys. So these are two, like one of those nut earring um, necklaces. I have two of them. They're going to each be a dollar in crafting. They are large and in charge. Okay, next we have 24 inch antique silver tone chains. Um, I guess they'll be 50 cents each. Um, we have a lot of broken stuff in here, like all this was broken. Um, so that'll be a dollar in craft. 
Um, this is like a double butterfly thing, but I don't know what's going on with it. So that'll just be a dollar. This, I'm not really sure what was going on with this. It is metal though, and it's quite large. That'll be a dollar. Make sure you guys are giving me timestamps when you're emailing me and um, check this sold list in the comment section. Uh, and then this one is, I mean, I guess it's just a bangle. It's seven inches. I'll do that for $2. This is a an Avon pretty. It is in good condition. It's just got, is that a knot? I think it's just a kink. Yeah, that's just a kink. Um, it is an 11 inch drop on the Avon, $5. And then we have this, it has a double clasp, silver tone with this little um, pendant and then the dangles, little seashells. So let's see, this drop is 12 inches to the pendant. We'll do that for $5, it's in good condition. We have an Ohio State University um, Keychain will do for a dollar. And then we have this necklace, which is busted. However, I do want to check if this is sterling. Mm, maybe not, but let's just see. Oh, it is. It is, it is. Okay, so somebody can definitely take this off of here. And re, re chain it. <laughs> this is not glass. Um, it's probably maybe just some type of resin. But we do have our first piece of sterling. So for the pendant, I will ask I mean, it's quite, quite a large pendant. Um, I'll do, I'll do 15 bucks. All right, let's grab some more. We're actually almost about quarter of the way to the bottom, quarter of the way left. Okay, so we have a little lizard. Uh, worn on the adjustable part, a little bit of wear on the tail. However, I think all the rhinestones are still there though. So somebody can repurpose this little dude. I'll do that for five. We have a brass bangle that looks like this earring would match it. So if we find the mate, this is a seven and a half inch and I'll do that for five. This is a little bangle, but it's missing stones, so that'll be a dollar in crafting. We have this, that'll be, what is this? It's a little compass thing, it'll be a dollar. Oh, this is pretty. This used to be a brooch, look at that. It's broken. It's missing some flowers and some rhinestones, so that'll just be a dollar. We have this big old ring, look at that, for a ring, wow. Adjustable, $1. <clears throat> Island girl, not really in good condition, let's pass on that. Asanda, made in Indonesia. They feel like all acrylic beads, I mean, it's quite pretty, matches my nails, look at that. Um, really great color for the spring and summer coming. It's a six and a half inch, and I'll do that for five. It's pretty. That one will hang on to. This will hang on to. Oh, I saw this when we first opened the box, remember? So, they're just an acrylic cabochon. 
silver tone. There's a little bit of wear. I don't see any maker marks. There is very, very slight wear. Come on. And let's measure it seven inches. And I'll do that for five. All right, let's grab more. There are a lot of littles on the bottom of this box, so hopefully we'll be able to match some of these earrings. This is a stretchy silver tone, $5. Oh, look. This was probably an earring for that necklace. I'll include that. Oh, and I think here's the broken piece. So I'll, I'll include all this, and it was, I think I asked $2 for it all. Here is a faux pearl hair clip, but I mean, it's, yeah, we're gonna put that in crafting. Here is a, here is an Alex and Ani. This one is kind of really beat up. Um, it has an M on it. We'll just do it for $2. Ooh, this is kind of cool. This is probably just acrylic, but that's kind of pretty. It's a little heart ring, and it's a size, I would stick with eight and a half, and I'll do $3. Here is a clip-on earring, but it is missing. So we'll put that in craft. Earth Angel Grandma. It is, looks like it is adjustable. We'll do that for $4. Here's an earring we'll hold on to. Here's a little wrap bracelet, but it is, it's got some wear on it. So we'll put that in craft for a dollar. What's this big mama? Wow, that's an earring. Look at that. Um, this is all worn, so that'll be a dollar. Yeah, all these will be a dollar each. We have another little brass bangle. Seven and a half, we'll do that for $2. We got two earrings here. We'll hold on to those. Got that one, that one's really pretty. This and, let's see what this is. Okay, that'll all be in craft. This is missing a petal, so that'll be in craft. Oh look, we found one matching earring. There we go. So I do think this could be carnelian. There is some wear on the lever back, so I'll just do these for $2. All right, so we have a lot of the littles left, so let me see if I can just grab a handful to start. So this really wasn't that great of a box, you guys. Uh, this is a button cover. We'll do that for a dollar. Again, all these are just gonna be a dollar. That's a cool earring. We'll hold that. This is a Chico's. That's not in bad shape. I think this is, this looks like a Brighton charm. Let's look at that in a second. So this is in good shape, a Chico's heart keychain. We'll do that for five. Yeah, this is a Brighton, this is a Brighton R charm. So I'll do that for $5. That's crafting. This is crafting. This is crafting. That's crafting. Okay. This is pretty. Guess we'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to that. We have a really nice screw back right here. Nice vintage screw back rhinestone earring. 
Now this might be Brighton. Oh, this is actually Premier Design. Look at that. So this is a bracelet with two sizings. Very pretty, gold and silver tone. Little flowers all over the gold tone. Gorgeous. So let's see. The first sizing would be about seven and a quarter and then eight. So this is beautiful. Really nice condition, Premier Designs. Let's do that for $10. We have a little acrylic ring here. Size seven and a quarter, red, white, and green, $3. All right, let's dump the rest of this out so we can go through it together. Okay, just some little, little nothings that are left. Let's move all this over. What does this say? University of Cincinnati. Okay, tack pin, we'll do that for $2. This is pretty. That looks like it could be sterling. We'll see if the meat is around. Here's some key earrings. We'll do those for a dollar. Wow, look at this ring. <laughs> That's funny. So it's got a little bit of wear. I don't know what that symbol is. Um, I would say it's about a seven, six in it. I would say it's a seven because it fits this finger. So size seven, we'll do $3. That's crafting, that's crafting, crafting. So I can wait on that one. I don't see that earring already, so that's crafting. I don't see that one. Um, okay, so we'll start with that. Oh, here's an earring that matches that necklace, but we're passing on that one. Okay, so let's look. I have all, everything next to me right here. I don't see this match. So let's get the craft stuff up. I don't see that match. So this is all crafting. I don't see that. I'll do these single earrings too for a dollar. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's just hold that one for a second. I don't see that one. All right, let's start with that. All right, I do see this. This is pretty, but we're missing stones. Bummer. So that'll be a dollar. We have this earring. It's not exactly a match to any of these though. That kind of stinks. And I have this, so, oh, we do have this mate. Okay, so I don't know if anyone would be interested in these. The, the pad is off of this one. So these will be a dollar, and then I'll do two for a dollar on all the other ones. They're, all the single earrings will be always, are always two for a dollar um, in the craft. Okay, so this is just a an acrylic cameo be a dollar in crafting we have a worn flower ring it's a size I would say seven and three fourths do a dollar on that one as well this is like maybe a little heshy be um, bracelet with some tiger's eye it's pretty I don't see any markings. It's a seven inch. I'll do that for $5. That says 925, but I don't see the mate, so that's a bummer. 
We have this earring. Oh, FedEx is here, so if Dallas barks, then that's that's why. So that's two for a dollar. Oh, that this is what happened. So that earring, this was part of the earring. So we'll do that for a dollar. Um, yeah, all these are going to be two for a dollar. A little bow brooch, but it's missing some enamel. We'll do that for a dollar. Um, this is just a gold tone bow brooch. We'll do this for three dollars. These are cute. These are little starfish earrings. Two bucks. Ooh, this might be sterling. But again, no mate. Do that for two bucks, little tack pin. Ooh, here's this mate. Okay, this one, it looks like we can read a little bit more clearly. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it says FL95. Like the like a year. Let's test it just to see. So we'll test the earring. We'll test this one. And this one is really pretty. I don't think that's sterling. Okay, let's see. All right, we are negative on both. Alrighty. So these, let's find this mate. <clears throat> these are not sterling, but we'll do those for $3. Not sterling. That's pretty, but we don't have the mate. Oh my gosh. All this, this is really pretty. This is a clip-on, no maker mark, no match. Here's a match, do those for $2. That says Avon, but we don't have the match to that. Ooh, I think I found a bracelet. This is a green rhinestone and gold tone bracelet. Don't see any maker marks on it. It is very pretty though and in very good condition. It's a seven inch. I'll do that for five. All right, all the rest of this stuff has no, no matches. This is kind of icky. Let's measure it real quick though. This is also a seven inch and I'll just do this for a dollar. Freedom is not free. <laughs> all right, all this stuff will be a dollar. Ooh, that's pretty, look at that. Woo woo, that is a ring. Let's see, it is acrylic. It says size eight, let's just make sure. <laughs> it is not, I'd say it's an eight and a half, eight and three fourths. Yeah, eight and a half, it's pretty though. Do that for four. All right, so let's bring up all the rest of these single earrings because you can screenshot and give me, you know, descriptive des descriptions, and I will do two for a dollar on the craft single earrings. These none of these are, you know, precious metal. So there we go. Okay. So, not really a great box. Let me look at where the other box is from that I got. Oh man, it's from Dayton, Ohio as well. And I didn't even order it the same day. I ordered it, you know, the next week. Oh well, so let's just hope the next one will be better. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I don't think it was really great, but it is what it is. 
So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. It's free. And my next video will be Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time launch for my purse sale video, which will include purses that I thrifted on my trip um, to Rhode Island. Uh, most of the... Oh yeah, no, they were from Rhode Island and Massachusetts, the, the um, purses. So make sure you click that bell right here to all so you're notified when I make a new video. All right, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.